Tell us about March 21st, 2022. What went right for you and your partner, Gabe Cox, uh, and what didn't? That was a very unique day. Uh, we were anticipating that there was going to be an outbreak of severe weather of some sort. What ended up happening is three of the four storms became tornado warned. The only storm that had yet to become tornado warned was the one that would end up going through Round Rock and then the Granger. But the more we looked at that storm, we just we saw that the environments and all the parameters were set perfectly. And we're videoing this tornado coming right at us. You can hear it. You could smell the grass. How many tornadoes did you end up seeing that day? We ended up just seeing that one tornado that day, but we chased it um, for quite a long time. It impacted a home. So we, we pulled over. We ran into the house to make sure they were okay. They had severe damage to their homes. But after that, we got back into our car and we chased it. And we, we saw it almost its entire lifespan for another 20, 25 minutes. Get the sense, not just from you, but from the storm chasing community in general, that it's not always about the picture, the video, the tornado. When you see a house impacted and lives impacted, uh, uh, it just punches you in the gut and you immediately want to be a help and in any way you can. Uh, what we were doing, we we're documenting, but we we're also hopefully saving lives or, or at least helping benefit lives. And Jeff, I, I think social science has studied that people do act more if they see a tornado than if they just hear tornado warning. So no doubt the work you and uh, Gabe did uh, this time last year saved lives and we appreciate you for it.